All right, guys, today we're checking out the Bauer 7-gallon cordless wet-dry 20-volt vacuum. I'll go over some of the features on the outside here. Uh, you've got a 6.5-foot hose. Hose attaches to the basket or to the uh, bucket with this small clip here. See, there's just a small button. Push that in. And then it just locks down into place. Um, on the outside here, you get a couple extension wands, and then you get a crevice tool, and then you also get a tool, I'm not really sure what this one's called, a wider attachment there. All the accessories, as you can see, store right on the uh, top of the tank here. With the extension hose plus the wands, you get um, a little over nine feet of reach with this. With just the hose alone, you get six and a half feet. Let's go ahead and take this off here. So as you can see, there is a large wheel in the center here. And then on the two outside ends, you have ball bearing swivel casters. These casters kind of have like a rubber coating on them. And I don't know if you can tell here, but the center wheels are actually larger than the two outside <clears throat> casters. So this allows this thing to completely pivot no problem. Basically turn on a dime with this thing. So you've got a handle up here. You've got a small handle up here. And then you also have kind of sort of a handle in the back there as well. Um, this unit weighs 16.2 pounds according to the package. The flow rate on the vacuum itself is 75 CFM. Um, seven gallon capacity, like I said. Peak horsepower, they claim 3.75. I know with vacuums that number is kind of doesn't really mean anything to anybody. So, uh, so let's take a look at the inside here. You've got two clips to get this top part off. They just simply pull out. Then you can lift up this whole unit here. So as you can see, I've already been using it, testing it out. The plastic um, tray where, or the plastic bucket where all of the waste goes into is tagged as uh, made out of polypropylene. The two clips on the side have an ABS uh, marking on them. The filter on this simply comes off. This is a screw connection here. And that's going to allow you to take this whole filter off. And then you can simply take the filter, smack it off inside of there, reinsert. Really simple, easy to use. Um, it even tells you on the package they don't recommend using any battery under a 3 amp hour. I have a 5 amp hour on here. I've been using it all over the place and it barely uses any battery. So let's go ahead and turn it on see if you can hear it through the mic. <laughs> So I'm going to dump out some uh, a, tr a line of metal shavings here. I'll hook the vacuum up, show you guys the suction on that, and then I'll also fill up a five-gallon bucket of water, and we will show you the process to convert this into a wet-dry vac, and you can see how fast um, it will suck up a full five gallons of water. Okay, so I've dumped out um, a good pile of metal shavings here. These are from my bandsaw. I'll pick these up and show you guys kind of close-up of them. So pretty fine metal metal shavings and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this thing without any attachments on it just so it's got a nice uh, larger area to pick up at. So turn it on.
see that was really quick I'll go ahead and switch to this uh, larger tool here just clean up any of the small spots I missed <laughs> Okay, so now I will prep the uh, five gallon bucket and show you guys how that part works. Okay, so before you switch to um, sucking up wet things, take the filter off. Oops, don't do that. <clears throat> Just take the filter off. And you can reinsert. Okay, so now I've got metal shavings in there too. Oh well. Oh, took the battery out. Okay. fill the vacuum up it won't let you suck any more water into it which is what has happened now so once you put too much put the camera up here once there's too much uh, water in it it causes this little um, check valve to push up and stop sucking water so you don't overflow this thing so even though it says it's seven gallons that doesn't mean you can fit seven gallons of water in it so it does work um, if you could tell I was taking off too much water at a time it was causing this thing to stop and that's part of that check valve being hit with too much water and causing the suction to stop but it does work one of the things that does suck if you are um, sucking up wet materials there's no drain on this thing so luckily it, it won't be too heavy with you you got the handles on the side there so you can easily dump it out but all in all i think it's a great vacuum uh like i said easy to move around i think it's going to be a great addition to anybody's workshop or even using it around the house so thanks for watching guys